Now the 800FW is different to the PX700W. There is a secret to that one. I've tried the same secret on this one. It doesn't work. We've tried many, many hours trying to do this one the same way as the 700W. It doesn't work, but I have got a way of how this goes. I've always had this way, but um, the other way was much better, so you don't have to touch anything. But the, F the 800FW can only be done this way at the moment. And what you have to do is lift up the lid. Lift the lid up. Now I'm going to move the CIS out of the way and move the camera over there with the lighting so you can see it. Now I've already undone this but there's a little screw just here. I put it there but it is undone. That little screw needs undoing and taking out. So what I'm going to do is just take it out there. After unscrewing it that is, I've already unscrewed it to save time and put it there. Save that screw. You're going to have to put it back. We're going to change the way that the, the printer works and you must undo that screw. Right, I have got ink stains on my hands. It's because I've been uh, remanufacturing ink cartridges today, like I do every day. So don't be concerned about the ink on my hands. You will not get it by using this CIS. I've only got it because I'm always remanufacturing cartridges and always got ink on me because I don't like wearing gloves. Let's move on to the next stage. You've removed that screw. So what you need to do, once that screw is removed, this part comes across to the right there, like that. Then put your hand in this hole, that hole there, and lift. There. And then you'll see this under here. This little chip put in by Epson. It's actually a magnet. And what you have to do is get this sharp object, whatever it is, to remove that in there. And I'm going to show you how it removes. Right, while the camera's been off, I just paused it there. I've actually zoomed it in so you can see what I'm doing. But do bear in mind that I am at arm's length because I am behind the camera. So it's a little more difficult for me. You can get up close up and take it off easily. But don't be alarmed if you see me miss it or something like that because I'm at arm's length. I'm right behind the camera. I'm having to do full arm's length here. Right, what you have to do is get your sharp object, which is uh, I'm using this knife. You lift that up and you can see that behind there, that white thing there. Go behind it with your sharp, sharp object and just click it out. Now I'm going, see I'm, I'm at arm's length so it is hard for me to stay behind the camera. There we go. Can you see that coming forward and it's clicking out there? Then pull it out like that somehow you get hold of it it's so hard at arm's length but I've got it there I've got it now you'll get out a lot easier as I say I keep saying I'm at arm's length it's so hard but you've got that out there then I'm just going to stop the camera and zoom out tell you what to do next right we've got it out I'll just put that down here for the minute and what you do here, just pull that to the right again so that this clicks back into place. Again, a lot easier for you when you're at arm's length. But there you go, that's clicked back into place there. It's like new. Get your screw that you saved earlier, put it back into there, and screw it back down. Now, I'm not going to screw it down because it'll save time on the video, but you can see what I mean. You screw that back down. You've got your little thing here that you took off. There it is. Now we've got to put that in the right place to make the printer work. What you need now is your sellotape and your scissors and just cut off a piece about that size, about an inch, just over an inch, whatever. There's a bit of sellotape. Get your little piece that you took out of the printer like that. Turn it over. So you can see that silver bit. Now you get your sellotape, stick your side away from you, stick your side away and put it over there, like that. So as you can see, I'm holding by the sellotape and I've got it like that with a sticky side of the sellotape away from me and the magnet towards me. I then go behind here 
I turn it round now you can see the magnet is now away from me and the stick of this side of the tape is facing me and just here you've got the magenta and the light magenta you go behind into this hole let me show you I'll see if I can get into it you can see that hole here there's a hole there and there is the magenta and light magenta go behind it go behind it with your tape and your square thing that you took out and go between the magenta and the light magenta like that just curl the tape over so that sticks into place and put your finger in so it's all stuck in place now you can see the magnet from Epsom is now there I'm going to go around there so you can see this there now you can see that magnet there it's facing this way between the magenta and the light magenta if you don't get it right it's just got in a slightly wrong place but it'll um, it'll move as long as you get it into the right place this is going to work so we put the screw back in we put that into place all we're going to do is put the CIS into the printer now we get the three the um, six sorry cartridges and we put them into the printer click them all down just to make sure they are all clicked down I put one finger at the top a thumb at the bottom and press individually on all six cartridges that makes sure that they're all in and we go down now the lid has got to close down on there but if we leave the lid like this eventually the weight of that lid is going to keep going down and down and down and down and in the end it's going to stop the ink travelling up this pipe so what we'll do we get the little square thing that I'm going to produce, uh, supply with a kit peel off the back so it's sticky here and in this corner I'm going to put it there just stick it there that will stick out a bit but there's nothing we can do now when the, when the lid goes down doesn't matter because that is going to stop it going all the way down and stop the ink going through here that is going to stop it you see it doesn't matter how heavy that lid gets that will stop it from crushing these pipes altogether we've got to see now if it prints just before you try and see whether it prints you've got your CIS here on the right just make this is very important that this CIS here these ink supplies must not be higher than your printer I tell it in every video people still do it they see a bit of air in the pipes here and think they've got to lift this up if you lift that up the ink is going to come down through gravity and it's going to soak into your printer and flood it so do not whatever you do lift this up how many times I have to say I don't know but I tell everybody this but they still do it because they think they know but honestly it will flood your printer if you lift this up also you've got to lift out the small bung and put in these little air vents do that on all six if you leave those little bungs in the ink can't come through so always keep that at the same level and put your little air bungs in now that's it let's see if this prints. right I've now switched the printer on and you can see there that is recognizing all the cartridges because if it didn't it would come up with an error it's now going through its setup procedure and it will always do this regardless of whether you put cartridges or a CIS on we've got the uh, thing supplying the ink we just got to let the printer go through its setup at which time I'm going to switch off and wait for it to do it because we'll be sat here for two or three minutes just watching it do that right it's gone through its uh, setup procedure we've got the CIS in, we've got the uh, display here touch screen display lift it up a bit so you can see and what I'm going to do just to show you that it prints I'm going to copy then it's asking me if it's a black and white or colour one we'll do a colour copy all I've done is put under there under the scanner there is uh, the, one of the sheets that came with the printer itself just to scan it and print let's see if it does it we'll press start and here we go colour copying one of one A4 plain white paper it's going through its procedure now I'm sure you can hear it it's 
back to the printing and there is the print coming out.